uh, the people that I uh, cater to in my uh, coaching program are people in the entertainment business. And I'm sure they struggle with that all the time where they have the acting or writing or filmmaking or producing, directing uh, within them. It's a part of who they are. They want to express themselves in that way. Yet they're forced by parents and schools and stuff like that to take another direction. And later on in life, they look back and they go, what happened? What did I do with my life? I'm not feeling fulfilled. And so what were some of the obstacles, and you wrote about some of these in your book, that were in the way of you uh, uh, expressing or having that seed, that life force energy grow, you know, uh, express itself through you? Yeah, you know, one of the things is like, you, even for myself personally, you feel it. Like, you know that it's something in you. You know that there's a better life. It's something different for you. And I think the obstacles coming away is trusting that what you feel is real. We, yeah. You really have to trust what's inside of you is real. No matter what others think, you have to believe and trust in that nudge, in that gift of inner knowing that you behold and only you behold. The dream is yours. It's not anyone else's. And so knowing that I had obstacles, you know, I had people that did not believe me. Um, I had to be a caregiver for some family members for a long period of time. But even in that, I would do the things to get me closer. Maybe I couldn't go full force in my dream. Like when I wrote the book, you know, I was a caregiver to my mother and my sister. I had two, I was a single mom with two little boys and I would get up early in the morning to write when everyone's sleeping, you know? Um, so it was different things. I had to work different jobs because I didn't look at these jobs as a long term opportunity for me because I knew something was greater for me. So I went in with short term thoughts of um, this is a mean to take care of my family. I'm going to grow and learn. I'm still going to achieve success within different organizations, but I don't see you as the, this is the long term. This is how the church's life is going to continue to be. Um, even as a child, I used to sit outside and look at everybody's rooftops and just think about where everybody worked and how I watched them, you know, leave work in the morning, come back home. And it seemed like they were doing the same thing every day. And I was like, yeah. oh my God, that's so mundane for me. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know? me too. And those obstacles came up the, the way, you know, even being a single mom, that was an obstacle. Um, moving from Michigan to Georgia because the market changed and I needed to go where the company was going, where the jobs were at. Um, so it was a lot of things that came up that could totally derail me. And then other people were telling me, like, you know, you just need to pay yourself. You just need to get a corporate job, stay in there, you know. And people don't understand you when you're going through this. I think of spiritual awakening and really stepping into who you truly are. I don't expect a lot of people to understand what's going on with you. You just have to really believe in yourself, believe in what you're feeling. And like you said, for the filmmakers and individuals like that, you know, they, they get rejection all day long, right? You're trying out for, to get your film feature. You're trying out to, as your actor or actress, you know, you're a professional, you get the door slam, you try out for this role, this role, this role. But the ones who make it, it's something inside and say, I'm not going to quit. You know, even yeah. if I have to work this other job to support my living, my dream in the arts does not stop if you still have slamming the door in my face or you're rejecting me to be in that role, there is a role for me and I'm going to attract that role. So sometimes it's the words we say a lot. What comes out of our mouth, what we truly believe about ourselves is what matters. Not what other people, it's what we believe about ourselves. That will get you through the obstacles on your path. You got to know everything's going to be all right because there was a time when things were not right and they became right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Having faith like that is not saying that I'm so religious. Like I said, I'm more of a spiritual person, but I believe that things work out for me for my good. Yeah. And even when bad things happen, it's good things come out of it. You know, like when you're in relationships and they don't work out, you look, if, if you're open your eyes and just not blame the finger at the other person, you could see where you have grown or what you took away from that relationship that's going to make you better for not only um, getting in a relationship with someone else, but in, your, in all of your life. You learn yeah. so much from it. And you really can take in that 
people and things are in your life for a season and for a reason. And there's some things that are long-term, some things that are short-term, but just see the joy in all of it, right? Yeah. And if you look at your life, I think with having grounded in my faith, I always say, I'm going to live a long time. Like, I'm going to have longevity. Yeah. But I need to live today as if I will die tomorrow. So yeah. that means I need to take that chance today because tomorrow's not promised, even though I see me accomplishing so much because I'm going to have longevity. I have to be present enough to understand this day, I need to live it to the fullest. Yeah. And, and, and you can feel the support. If you take time and get a prayer life or meditation, whatever works for a person, silence, go walk in nature. It's, it's all those different things you can do or just something you enjoy. You enjoy painting, paint, sing, sing. Like when you're in your art, your gift, whatever form that is, whatever it is that's for you, in that, that's where you bring your faith. In that, when you see your talent shine, build your faith in that and know that this here is here to share. I'm here to share this with the world. I am from the give from this tank. And no matter what this tank's been through, it's just like you've got a jar, a tin can. It's been beat up. It's been messed up. All this stuff is there. But what's inside of it has not been damaged. And so, you know, I believe that we can look at life as if it's heaven. Is it a heaven or a hell? You know, and it's up to us to decide. And even when things go bad and go wrong, like you say, you just know. Well, for me, I know that I'm working with an unlimited power and presence. It's working in as and through me. And it's perfect, total, and complete, not holding back anything from me. So for me, I can move forward with that faith. You know, it was the Christ who I call the first assistant director of your movie called Life because he knew more of what you wanted, the, the infinite filmmaker wanted for your movie than anybody else on the set. And so the infinite filmmaker said it is measured according to your belief. And so if you can believe in yourself, if you can believe in something that's working through you, uh, it's, and you talked a, a little bit about belief in your book. Yes. And faith and how with faith you can move mountains. You can move mountains. It's, it's just yeah. like, if you if you know one of the things one of the affirmations I say in the morning, I'm grateful for the grace and mercy that's allowed to me to this day, but also I am loved, I am supported, I am provided for, I am protected. Yeah. When you have all those things covered and you get up and understand, you don't. When things happen, car breakdown, whatever happens. I know I am loved, I am supported, I am provided for, I am protected. So as soon as that happens, right, a, a nice gentleman comes, how can I help you, ma'am, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, all yeah. these different things happen. You be in the store and the one thing you were looking for, you find it and you haven't been able to find it for the couple of weeks. But when you put that energy out there and you know that no matter what happens, so when life happens, because usually when things happen, they're happening outside. It's like external things. It doesn't change internally what's going on with you. It doesn't change your dream. These are some external things that I have to deal with. But I know in dealing with that, I am loved, I am supported, I am protected, and I am guided. Those loved, four things, loved, supported, supported protected, protected, and I ran out of ink. <laughs> oh, no, Rich. <laughs> And I want my uh, audience to write this down too, because it's really important. This is this is like a great mantra. Mantra. Yes. I am loved. So, I am loved. I am supported. I am protected, and I'm provided for. Protected and provided for. Yes. So when you go out in the world, when you're interacting with individuals, you are loved. Okay. And you're coming and you're going, you're getting up and getting down, you are supported. So if you need a job, you will find a job, you need an opportunity, you need a business meeting, whatever you need it has been supported. Yeah. You are protected. Yeah. Your health is protected. You are protected. Go for it. And last thing, I am provided for. My yeah. household, myself, I am provided for. So whatever yeah. needs to be moved, whatever mountain, whatever person that needs to be moved from the east, net, east, west, north, or south will be moved to make sure that I'm provided for. Yeah. You know, in, in the Bible, it talks about how uh, all your crooked roads are made straight and your narrow roads are made wide. And so there is something out there that 
is loves us, support us, protects us, and provides for us. And when you say that to yourself, it's the law of attraction. You're going to get that. Like you said, you're going to get somebody coming by that says, hey, can I help you, ma'am, or whatever. Yeah. You brought that into your life. Now, you could have also gone in the other direction. Life is against me. This sucks. Why is this happening to me? And then you're going to get more of that. Yes. But when you when you really know that you're protected, you're provided for, and that like you when you recited in the Bible about the crooked path made straight, I up and say, I say my paths are clear. It's yeah. a clear road. It's a clear day. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's knowing that even though it may be things I need to work out, I'm going to confess it that day because I'm in faith already down the road that something didn't came. A text message, a phone call, an opportunity, someone didn't said my name in a positive you know, way. You have to know that things are continuing working behind the scenes, just like when you're doing a production, right? So much work go behind the scenes that the audience never, ever see. We yeah. get to see the final picture. Yeah. That's the same thing with life. So many things are going behind the scene in the spiritual realm that you never get to see. Right. And we just know it manifests. Because most of the things that we're trying to manifest, all right, most of the things already existed. If yeah. you're single, you're looking for a husband. He's not going to be a newborn baby. He already exists. Yeah. <laughs> right? Is yeah. there a car that you want? The car has already been made, manufactured, and put <clears throat> on the market. Yeah. Right. The home, even if it's a new construction home, you're, you're dreaming about building. The land is already here. No one's making new land. It's here. Yeah. Everything, yeah. the job, the company, the business, the people you want to meet, they already exist. Yeah. Your vibration, your energy needs to match your desires. If you have doubts, if you get frustrated, if you're not patient but you have to have strong faith in yourself yeah that what i desire will manifest on my path yeah. things that manifest on my path are for my highest good and the highest good for others right, right. so when you're in that highest good mode and you're really talking about what's going to manifest you and others meaning that if something needs to work out it's going to work out for me and for the other person, because yeah. maybe that person doesn't need to be part of the puzzle and they're needed somewhere else. Yeah. You know, when I do my prayer treatments, uh, recognizing there's an unlimited power and presence that's working in and as and through me, and it's already providing me the thing that, that I'm asking for already exists. And so I give gratitude for that. And then I release the word. In the end, you say, this or something better shall come my way. <laughs> <laughs>